Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be working the Baby Bubble Boots. You can find the link to the full written pattern in the description. And you can also find the link to the pattern for the booties, the video. The The pattern to the uh, sole is the first three steps of any any of the booties on my blog. And um, I've started with the sole already worked since it's the same for all my patterns. So make sure to click over and watch that video first. This is the three to six month size. I'm working with a size F hook and I'm working with Karen Simply Soft yarn. And we're gonna join our second color. We're gonna join it four stitches away from the join. So our join is right there. We're gonna join one, two, three, four. And that should be right in the middle of your heel. We're going to join our second color right there. We're going to start with a chain and then a single crochet in that same stitch. So we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you come around to that join, you're going to work your stitch in that top loop right there. And then you're going to move on to the next stitch. Now we're going to join with the slip stitch at the top of the round. And then we're going to move on to step six. So we're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, then we're going to work 12 more single crochet stitches. Okay, so there's our 12. Now we're going to half double crochet once. And then we're going to work seven double crochet two together stitches, so or a double crochet decrease, and we're going to work those in the back loops only. So we're only going to work it in that, that loop right there. There's our seven. So we're gonna work a half double crochet in the next stitch, going through both loops now. And then single crochet 13. And then join with a slip stitch at the top of the round. on to step seven. We're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. Oops. Try that again. And then we're going to single crochet 12. Then we're going to work a half double crochet and then four more double crochet two together stitches and these will be in both loops. There's our four. Now work one more half double crochet. And 
and then we're going to single crochet 12. And then join with a slip stitch at the top of the round. And now we are moving on to step 8. We're going to chain 1, single crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to work a single crochet 2 together. and then work 10 single crochet stitches. Now work one half double crochet and now we're going to work two half double crochet two together stitches, so a half double crochet decrease. Now we're going to work one half double crochet and then single crochet 10. And we're going to finish with the single crochet 2 together in the last 2 stitches. And then join with this slip stitch with the first stitch. I'm moving on to step 9. We're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, and we're going to single crochet two together five times. Now we're going to half double crochet two together three times around the toe. Work five single crochet two together stitches. Single crochet decrease. Then we're going to join with a single crochet at the beginning with a slip stitch. Okay, so now we are going to start working the bubbles of the shoe. We've we've finished like the, the foot part and from here we are going to increase out and then decrease back in, increase out, decrease back in twice. So to do that we're going to start increasing. We're going to work um, two single crochets in each stitch. So we're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, and we're going to work two single crochets in each stitch around. And now we're going to join with a slip stitch at the top of the round. And then we're going to do another increase. So this time we're going to work, um, start of the chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. And now we're going to work two and then one. So we're going to alternate two in this one, one in this one, two in this one, one in this one. And all we're going to repeat that all the way around. So work two together and then one in the next. 
two together, one in the next, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. All right, we've reached all the way around, so we're gonna join with a slip stitch. Then we're gonna do one more round of increases. So this round we're gonna work single crochet. Let's see, let's start with chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. Now we're gonna work, we're gonna work a single crochet in the next one, and then our double. So we're going to work two singles, one, two, and then the increase, two stitching crochets in the same stitch. So repeat that sequence all the way around. You're going to work two singles, one, two, and then two single crochets together in the next stitch. and repeat that all the way around. Okay, we're going to join with a slip stitch at the top of the round. You can see it looks a little wonky right now because we've increased out so far. It's all roughly, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So now we're going to start the decreases. So you're going to, going to work for the over the next two rounds, you're going to work single crochet two together all the way around, all the way around. So chain one, and then just start working your, your single crochet two together stitches for your single crochet decreases. And work them all the way around. We're gonna bring it right back down to the size it was. Okay, so we're back to the beginning of the rounds. So you're going to join with a slip stitch. You're going to see it's starting to kind of come back. So we're going to do one more round of single crochet decreases. So chain one and then single crochet two together all around again. Okay, we're all the way back, so join at the top, and that is the, the first bubble. So from here, we're going to just repeat the entire thing. 
we're going to start out with two in each, and then two and one, and then two and two, and then two more rounds of single crochet two together to bring it back down. So we're going to start with the increases. So single crochet in the same stitch, and then work two single crochets in each stitch around. Okay, so we're back where we started. So we're going to join with a slip stitch. And we're going to start our second row of increases. Single crochet in the same stitch. Two in the next. And then one in the next stitch. Two in the next. one in the next stitch and repeat that all the way around. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the round. So you're going to join the single crochet or slip stitch. Sorry. Okay, and so we're going to start our third round of increases. So again, for this one, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then work your increase two together. Two single crochet worked in the same stitch. So we're going to work that all the way around. One, two, and then two in the next stitch. Okay, so we're back where we started, so we're going to join the slip stitch in the top. And again, it looks really wonky. So now we're going to start the decreases. So to do the decreases, again, we're going to work two rounds of single crochet two together. So we're going to chain one and then immediately work, start working your single crochet two together all the way around. So we're back where we started, so join with a slip stitch. Okay, so we have one more round left, one more round of decreases. Chain one, and then single crochet two together all the way around again. And then join us a slip stitch. And they're done. So you want to tie off.
and weave in your ends. And what makes these boots so awesome about staying on their feet is you need to weave in some ties. So I found these, this the uh, single crochet two together holes was the perfect spot. So I take my needle and some yarn, the color of the bottom, and weave it in and out of there and uh, in and out of the top. And then you tie them, tie them around their 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 leg and they stay on awesome. They just really stay on their feet so you don't have to worry. I put socks on my baby's feet and then put these on her and they just stay on great and I know that her feet will be warm. So there you go. Repeat for the other side, for the other foot and then you will have your finished pair of baby bubble boots. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.